That's iodine. I'm trying to let it soak into my hand and stain it. Um, this is a fat people update. I got some real elephants in my family. And uh, I'm always worried about, I'm paranoid as hell. I look at food, I gain weight. Um, I did a, I did a couple uh, iodine tests. There's supposed to be a patch test where you put 2% uh, iodine on your thing, or Lugos, which would be 7%. You put it on your body in a small patch, and if it disappears within four hours, you have a iodine deficiency. So I just spread it all over my body the last couple of days, and, and uh, on my butt, I put it on my butt a few times because it's really white and uh, easy to see. And the stuff would disappear in like 15 minutes. And so I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Now I, I need to get a malaria test, but not a malaria test, uh, a uh, iodine test. So this is supposed to be the rule of thumb one, and I, I don't know how to get it to stay, okay? But the thing is, is that when you have a shortage of iodine, and it's a fat person update, um, your thyroid doesn't act. Uh, you could have thyroid problems, which thyroid basically in the, controls the metabolism and different things that, uh, like, tells your body to, you know, it's basically thyroid problems cause people to be fat or very skinny. I think they go both ways. But... This is a, a fat person update. Take notice, try to figure out, do all the research. I'm going to leave the comments open on this one. I always close them, but I'm going to leave it open to see if anybody can come up with some brainstorming uh, that would explain to me why my malaria, my iodine disappears. I'm going to go buy some, I'm buying different types of iodine to test. It's kind of scary. Uh, there's things that rob iodine, like I, I think me taking uh, chlorine, using Clorox or chlorine in the thing to keep funguses away may be causing it. I hate fish. Okay, and Handy Graham, trying to work on uh, what's going on for fat people.